Hey, hello everyone. Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Subnautica. I hope you guys are doing well today. We are back in our base. The bio generator is running well. We had to put our bed down a little bit of an awkward spot, but we're still sitting next to our good friend Hoopfish and his good friend Reginald. We just sleep side by side now. The scanning room is constructed and I'm really happy with it. Uh, today, however, we are going to click on the radio. For a, a lot of you have been like, I can't believe he's not clicking on the radio. It's triggering me. Well, I, you know, I was doing other stuff. You know what I mean? But today, we're going to see if there's any life pods in need. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request e. immediate assistance. Six out. Signal uh, press to view. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Sunk to approximately 100 meters. Located in an area dense with red grass near a number of natural arches and rock stacks. Um, yeah, we could probably do that. They said there was radiation in the way, but one of the things we were working on was cleansing the water of radiation. So I don't think I'm too worried about that. Oh, let me go get the sea moth. In between episodes, I did do a little bit of crafting and we're now able to add a storage module to our sea moth. Gives a little box on the back that we could throw some stuff into. Is it only on one side? Can you have multiple storage modules? That would actually be pretty cool. Uh, just in case, you know, our inventory gets filled up while we're out, we can at least throw a few items in there. It can hold two more mod slots. We have the depth mod on as well. But let me turn off a lot of these markers. I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed. It's 400 meters west, northwest of Life Pod 4's last location. Are we Life Pod 4? Oh, we're Life Pod 5. Okay, so where the fuck is Life Pod 4? Well, it's in a red grass biome. We know of a couple of those. I think we're just going to be exploring for it today. They said they're about 100 meters deep. We know there's somewhere near this, right? So I'm going to go roughly this direction. And hopefully we stumble across it while we're looking. I know we recently saw a Life Pod, but was it that one? You know what? I bet this is the right area. We are... Hey, no screaming. They said there was a bunch of archways. I'm not seeing any archways, but this is about 100 meters deep. They were in red grass. I bet it's over here somewhere. Yeah, we saw this broken ass shit before. This is where we got the plans for the scanner room. Oh, and this is an archway, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was the easiest find of my life, dude. Uh, life pod six, we've arrived. Doesn't look like there's any survivors. Any sketchy shit going on here? I don't think so. Wait, did they also, is this also uh, supposed to help me find life pod four? Cause I don't think we found life pod four before. Are they giving me a clue to that as well? Hey, can I fix this? Nope. Uh, so there were a few flares in storage. Other than that, it doesn't look like too much I can utilize. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, we were gone so long, I thought you'd drowned. I was going to try to attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Oh, this plant is shooting at the shark. Yeah, put you in your place, bud. Looks like some sea moth plans over here. Another laser cutter fragment nearby. Oh, I thought he was coming after me. <laughs> Another scanner room fragment. Oh god, I got a biter and a shark. Oh no. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we kind of already picked this place clean, unfortunately. A little anticlimactic. We just happened to discover this when we were looking for scanner room parts. But hey. At least we, fa we found it. Hey! Who did that? One good use of this extra storage is I just put all of our titanium into it. That cleared up my inventory really nice. I just see the shadow of a shark above me. Oh! oh he's not hurting anybody, though. He's just a little rambunctious. Uh. Okay. So this was the life pod. Let me read that message again. And see if we can figure out where life pod four may have ended up as well. Something down here. Looks like it may just be scrap. Hit scanner room. I'm a little ahead of the curve, I think, for our technology. A distress signal has been received, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data was downloaded. Sunk to approximately 100 meters. Transmission origin approximately 400 meters west by northwest of life pod 4's last location. So we need to head south by southeast about 400 meters, right? Uh... Is that it? I'm not super thrilled about the location we're in. Oh yeah, fuck! I drove around for a few minutes trying to find it. Uh, we're very close to the front of the ship. Very, 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 very close to the front of the ship. And we all know it's at the front of the ship. A creature decoy. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, I presume I miscalculated. Oh. So the creature decoy is, is to trick animals into chasing after that and chasing after me? I'm just going to do a drive-by of the coast here to see if there's any more parts for that larger ship that we can build. I forgot what it's called. But there are a lot of pieces over here. I wonder if they put them in f front of the ship. You're fine, my dude. No one's bothering you, my dude. This is the best the visibility has like ever been here. That's a little comforting. You know, I don't know what's on the other side of the ship. Seems like it kind of glows off a cliff here. Let me park right here and uh, just do some really quick repairs. So just like Mass Effect. Oh, what's that? Fuck. I'm gonna turn the lights off. Fucking scary. You know, there's a um upgrade.
for our sea moth. Oh, and by the way, I didn't forget that you guys are going to name it. I just, um, I'm recording this at the same time as the last episode. Holy fuck. <gasps> oh, God! Ah! 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 He's not going super close to this wall. And we're kind of beneath him now, right? This is 200 meters. Dude, this is just like a little desert here. We should remember that there was one at the end of the ship too. I'm just seeing metal scraps here. Do you think there's anything worth actually picking up out of these boxes? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like this. But I want to know where this goes. Whoa. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Three hundred meters. It's just a sheer cliff on the other side. Luckily, I don't hear that fucking guy screaming at me anymore. Unluckily, I'm still just seeing metal scrap everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna need some serious upgrades to be able to venture down wherever this goes. And that is so scary to look at. Gotta head back home. I'm just taking a really wide turn around the Aurora because I don't want that um, the Reaper on the other side to see me. I'm just gonna go straight this way. Over the ground. Well, I hear a giant monster in the water. And I'm getting closer to it. Oh, we have a crash site here. Or just a big hunk of metal that fell off. And at least we're starting to see some familiar looking creatures again. Oh. And our new shark friend that we keep running into. I think I must... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, this looks new. I think I must be, uh... Right behind, like, the ship's trajectory here. Time capsule. What did I get? Ooh, an ion cube? Some water, I think? Oh, it's dark now. Oh, I just got shivers. Oh, there's rubies here. That, me that means that this is the same biome as uh, the one really close to that first island that we keep going back to. I don't even really know where I am. Uh, my life pod's, you know, a kilometer that way. But, um... Fuck. Lights off. Can't tell if that makes it better or worse. I just saw the shadow of a shark underneath me. Oh, shit. What's this? Life pot seven. The shark boy's not happy. It's okay. We have a stasis gun. Uh, pick up microscope. Non-functional. Pick up toy car. <gasps> Is that Corvette? Oh, it is. 
is. Oh, I'll take that with me. Fuck yeah, dude. Gray cap. Integrating new PDA data. In I've tried everything. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. I can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's got to make something useful eventually. Dude, this is actually just terrifying to me. But somehow, like, I don't feel like my heart's really racing just being here deep in the dark. There's a hoop fish gliding by? That has to be a good omen, right? Welcome aboard, Captain. <sighs> we found that totally by accident. That's kind of funny. Whoa! There's a wreck here. Oh god, and one of those teleporty things. Okay, so... I'm 150 meters down, 600 meters south by southwest of our original life pod. Let me see where I am in relation to the ship. Like right off the tail end. That means, okay, so I'm almost at island, island number one. We had just never been this deep before. Okay, we gotta be really careful. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh, stasis gun on one, scanner on two. Okay. A membrane tree. I did bring a couple first aid kits if we need it. I'm going to repair our ship right now. There's a, um, upgrade that gives us, like, a diamond hull. And, um, if we're going to be exploring more aggressive places like this, I think that's probably a good idea. There's so many boxes here. It's a whole ship broken on that side. Did this thing just teleport for real? A thermal plant fragment. Nice. We already have that. closer to that thing. Maybe we could use one of those decoy. I'm gonna move the ship up. Oh, oh, I just got shivers again. Fuck. Do you think it, um... Oh, there's something here. Do you think it just teleports around? Like there's a pattern to it or Cyclops death mo depth module? We don't even have a Cyclops yet. We do have a moon pole. Uh, drill arm fragment. Oh, this is for the, the mech suit. Bench. What if they're, uh, those membrane things are like where those teleporty fish lay their eggs or some shit? Like they're super protective of them or, of them or something. So many thermal plant fragments. It warms my heart to see schools of hoop fish. It's a good omen. It fills me with confidence. Another moon pool fragment. I don't want to loot too much more of this shit. Where our, our inventory is like actually almost full. Um, 
Is there a door or something to get into this one? Oh, another arm here. We can craft that now. Oh, I bet that's how we farm the big rocks! Oh, shit. Okay, I'm going in. Uh, do I have my sea glide? I do. Uh, we have the drill. All right, what do you got for me? Make it good. Make it good. Make it worth this fucking trip. Ooh. Cyclops Docking Bay Repair Module. I just wish I had a Cyclops. I think I have... What the fuck was that? I'm going back to my ship. No, I should see what this is too. I have my other tank right, I do. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. We can just put that thing in a stasis. It won't bother us. We have med kits. Our ship is nearby. 30 seconds. Roger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's something in there. Swap, 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 swap. Inventory full. Blueprints for the repulsion cannon. Here, let me drop a couple of these things. A uh, grappling arm. Can we fight back against stuff with this? That could be huge. Where's my scanner? Not dead. One out of two. Quick look around. Oh, hello, hello. What do we have here? Is that another grappling arm? Nice! I think we can make one of these suits. We should do that. Uh, Torgol Corp. I can't read this right now. Oh, I got the heebie jeebies leaving that. Uh, Torgol Corporation is a long standing family run clan that operates almost a dozen mining and trading operations. The company's share price at an all time high on the announcement by a Mongolian cabal of their intention to construct new phase gate utilization Torgal materials. These plans were put on hold when Bart Torgal, the intended leader of the new mining operation, disappeared along with his father roughly a decade ago. I feel like that was a good find. Did it see me? Or did I scare it? I didn't see anything in those. Oh, this place goes deep, dude. He goes at least another hundred meters down. And you, you think you know an area. I've been here a ton, actually. We've driven right through this area so many times. Going back and forth between that island. Even in between episodes, I've gone back and forth between this island so many times. And all I had to do was look a little bit deeper. And it's a whole new spot. You know what I mean? I thought I knew that place really well. But maybe I'm just scratching the surface. All right, team. We made it back home. In one piece. We have more titanium for the titanium deposit. Oh, this was... That's not where quartz goes. It'd be cool if I could put the Corvette in the aquarium for Hoopfish to, to play around with. That would be really neat. We'll just place it on the table over here. Man, I wanted one of those cars. 
a little out of my price range, but uh, man, if I could afford it, I'd have a Corvette right now. Okay, we're kind of getting to the point, and it hasn't even been that long where I feel like I have too much salt. <laughs> and I don't know what to do with it. Our water supply is fine because obviously we're eating and drinking, so we're consuming that stuff. But uh, I'm not doing anything with that salt. It's really starting to pile up. Oh, wow. So it looks like the longer I let this thing scan, the wider of an area it's hitting? Like significantly wider? That's pretty amazing. There is a range upgrade that we can get for this. I only have one magnetite, and I don't really know where to get more. Uh, but if we got the HUD chip, this would actually display where all these things are on our screen all the time for us to collect. It's basically unlimited supplies. I could see us building scanner rooms periodically throughout all these different biomes just to help us find what we're looking for, to help us find wreckages even. I think that could be really fucking cool. I think that's gonna do it for today's episode, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. That was a fun exploring session. We haven't done that in a few episodes. A little tense at times, but we got through it. Take care guys, see you again soon. Goodbye.